Good evening, I'm Jim Axelrod. Nelson Mandela is back in the hospital tonight battling a recurring lung infection. We're told his condition is serious but stable, the most dire description a government spokesman has used so far. The former president of South Africa and hero to millions around the world for his fight against apartheid is 94 years old. Mandela is particularly vulnerable to problems with his lungs since contracting tuberculosis during the 27 years he was imprisoned by the South African government. Deborah Pata joins us now from Pretoria. Deborah. Jim, Nelson Mandela has in fact been battling this infection for a couple of days now, but it was in the early hours of this morning that his condition deteriorated significantly, so much so that doctors rushed him to this hospital here in Pretoria, and that has been the pattern with Nelson Mandela over the past few months, with those health scares becoming a lot more frequent. Nelson Mandela has been hospitalized four times in the past six months, but for the first time, presidential spokesman Mac Maharaj says his condition is being described as serious. Yes, when the doctors say it is serious, they mean it. Uh, previously, they haven't said that. They have expressed concern or tests. Mandela's condition has stabilized since he was admitted into a hospital in Pretoria. Doctors say he can now breathe on his own. Mandela has battled a recurring lung infection for 25 years, ever since he contracted tuberculosis in prison. In his autobiography, Mandela wrote that back in 1988, he was taken from prison to the hospital, where doctors drew more than eight cups of fluid from his lungs. The lead physician noted that the damp conditions in Mandela's prison cell had helped to cause my illness. Just over a month ago, a frail Mandela was last seen in public during a visit by South African President Jacob Zuma. Here you can still see the imprint of an oxygen tube on his cheek that had been removed earlier. Mandela's worsening condition caused his wife to cancel a speaking engagement today in London. Now, because of his advanced age, officials say that it will take a lot longer to recover from these infections. A presidential spokesman told me that we all want Nelson Mandela to live forever, but we have to accept that he is human and adjust our expectations accordingly. Jim. Deborah Pata in South Africa for us tonight. Thank you.